Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Grace Melody here, and wow, I think this is actually going to be the first video on this channel, so that is amazing. <laughs> um, so yeah, as you can see today I'm going to be playing Sonic Adventure DX. Um, as you can see I've played this game quite a lot already, um, plus I have it on the uh, GameCube, which was my childhood game. But today we're going to create a new file, we're just going to go straight in for adventure. And yeah, we're just going to see how this goes. So I wanted to start this channel just for fun really. Um, obviously I do spend a lot of my free time playing video games, but I've always wanted to start a channel or something. Um, I've tried streaming a few times, but it just, uh, <laughs> my internet connection isn't quite stable enough for that. So yeah. <laughs> so let's uh, play out the cutscenes. I mean, I assume everyone uh, knows about this game anyway, but it's not exactly a new game. <laughs> oh god, I forgot about the awful voicing, like the animation. Oh yeah, well, the voicing itself isn't great in this game, but mostly the animation. Just the way his mouth moves is just so unnatural. Let's go. So what's happening? Why are the police here? Also, sorry if you can hear my cat in the background. She's just woken up and she's a, she's only a young kitten, so she's in a very playful mood. Surrender yourself. Oh yeah, I'm sure that blob of water is really going to listen to what you have to say, isn't he? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure bullets will work. Oh no, our weapons are useless. What did you expect? It's literally made out of water. <laughs> so everyone in the town is like panicking and Sonic's just like, oh, fun. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the first fight in the game is actually a mini boss fight and it's against Chaos Zero. And it's a very easy boss fight, obviously, because it's the first one in the game. Let me just get some rings. Get some rings. Um, so this game, uh, the controls aren't exactly the best, but it's fun nonetheless. I think, uh, personally, I think the Steam version is a bit... Oh, he does the jumpy thing, I forgot about that. Personally, I think the Steam version is a bit uh, worse than the GameCube version. Um, from what I've heard from other sources, apparently every single port of the game just gradually got worse and worse. Which sounds about right. But it's still playable and it's still completable. So, you know, why not? <laughs> it is fun being able to play all the Sonic games on PC. They have quite a lot on Steam now. They have uh, both Adventures, um, Generations, Forces, uh, Lost World. And some others that I'm probably forgetting. <laughs> I really, really want them to add Heroes to Steam though. Because Heroes is a great one. Yeah, you stare at that uh, manhole. Manhole, is that the word? I think it's the word. Oh god, I forgot. Eggman's voice just has... It has such an echoey effect to it in this game and I don't know why. <laughs> it's really confusing. Anyway, screw the boss battle. Now we're now we're in a nice little resort area, <laughs> doing some casual sunbathing. Oh, but what's that noise? <laughs> that doesn't look very safe at all, does it? Also, I will just say now, I love how beautiful the water looks in this game. Oh, that's my favorite one. Watch out, you're gonna crash. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you sound really concerned, there, Sonic. Uh, probably go rescue him. That'd be what I'd assume. Yeah, that sound good, Sonic. You're gonna rescue your buddy. Yeah. Where did you come from? <laughs> Ooh. So the first stage of Sonic is Emerald Coast, the first action stage in the game, and it's a really easy one as you would expect. Um, I actually. Oh god. <laughs> that wasn't a good start. I thought I picked up a ring. Uh, there we go. Now I've picked up a ring. Um, I actually recently did the level A on this, so it's a uh, 
fresh in my memory, even though I just ran into a bunch of walls. Because I'm smart. So yeah, it's kind of a boring level. But what do you expect, really? Wee, let's go fast. I mean, I say it's boring. It was, like, amazing back then, I assume. Obviously, I didn't really play the original. It was a bit before my time. But even on GameCube, I still thought it was amazing. So let's just rush. And then, oh, look, there's a giant whale. And my controller is vibrating like mad. <laughs> what? What? I don't think that's meant to happen. I wasn't even pressing anything. It was just like the cutscene bit. I was just holding forward like always. That's really bizarre. There we go. That's what's meant to happen. I don't really know what went wrong there, but that was a silly waste of a life. Oh gosh, I keep getting stuck on like tiny bits of land and stuff. It's really silly. And keep running into walls like that and just losing all momentum. So that's fun. <laughs> you really think I'd be better at this level by now, considering how much I played it. And considering I was just talking about the fact that I got level A the other day. How did I miss that? Oh well, at least I managed to get into the cave. The camera angles in this game is really awkward as well. I'm trying to make sure that I'm actually talking because... <laughs> oh my god, what? How did I do that? I don't know what happened there, but okay. I think I just accidentally skipped it. Yeah, I don't need a tutorial. I've played this game more than enough. Uh, at the minute I have about 50 hours, I believe, in the Steam version of the game. And I swear I must have spent hundreds of hours on the um, GameCube version, because it was literally my childhood. Okay, so I did that in just over two minutes, so it still was pretty fast. Yeah, Rescue Tales, we'll see completed. Yeah, so level A for that's completed in under two minutes, so... I don't think I did too tragically there, even though I had some very, very strange deaths. Hi, Tails. Oh, I forgot Sonic's uh, eyebrow movements are great as well. <laughs> Look at those eyebrows wiggle. I wanna fly high. Tails has a great song in this. <laughs> a few bugs. That's that's one way of saying it. You crashed. <laughs> oh yeah, what's your power supply? A Chaos Emerald. Why would you use a Chaos <laughs> Whoa! Why would you use a Chaos Emerald as a power supply, though? Like, aren't those, uh, pretty important? Oh yeah, I bet. Uh, because it's kind of too important to be used for something like that, that's what I would've thought. Oh yeah? What are you gonna show me? I love how Tails is telling me, like, I get it's, um, I get he's telling me that because, like, you know, gotta t teach the new players where to go but wouldn't Sonic know where your workshop is like come on oh god again with the camera angles <laughs> so yeah the train station is over here and then we just have to hop on up here and then wait in here and we'll be off to the mystic ruins the mystic ruins is probably my favorite adventure field I love the music as well Wee. So I believe we're going to have another boss fight up here, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes. Uh, what's it called? The Egg Hornet, I believe is its name. It's a giant talking egg. Yeah, I think, I think we know that by now. Enough! <laughs> oh boy. Uh-huh. You always have big plans, and you always get thwarted, so how's that working for you? Oh yes, we definitely will not interfere. Oh yeah? How are you gonna do that? I'm sure it's gonna work so well. Where's my kitten meowing? Oh no, this looks so intimidating. Whatever shall we do, Tails? <laughs> Totally not being cynical at all there. And yes, it's the egg hornet. 
Sorry, I just realized I was being really silent there when the cutscene was ending. It's because I was waiting for it to actually start, because I was trying to remember if I got the name right or not. Um, yeah, this is a really boring boss fight. It's just run around until he does that, and then... Wah! And then that's it. <laughs> I mean, Sonic, bo Sonic boss fights have never been uh, the most unique or interesting, have they? Oh gosh, I was resting my controller on the desk then, and that was very noisy. Do the thing, do the thing. Wah. He's not going to get away with this. So yeah, most of the boss fights in this game are really simple. The ones that aren't easy are because they have major bugs. <laughs> or other issues. It's usually just the controls, to be honest. But yeah, the controls in this game are the only thing that makes some of the boss fights a bit awkward. But for the most part, it's alright. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Please don't play with him some other time. That sounds very inappropriate, Sonic. Okay, so now what? He's just gonna slowly, slowly float to the ground. That's totally, totally normal. And Tails just whips out the Chaos Emerald because that's clever. I mean... Honestly, Tails, you kind of deserve that. Oh no. I wonder who Chaos could be, Sonic. Penny, what are you doing? I'm not even going to question what the kitten's doing. No, it's just another one that looks just absolutely identical, Sonic. Of course it's the same one, you numpty. Oh, look at that, he grew bigger. <laughs> so yeah, for if for some reason you haven't played or seen anything about this game, basically the thing with Chaos is every time he gets a Chaos Emerald, he gets bigger and cooler and stronger. Uh-huh, I'm sure he will work for you. I'm sure he will stay absolutely loyal to you when he has all seven Chaos Emeralds. Go on, Penny. <sighs> I mean, yeah, there's not really much to say about that cutscene. It just kind of tells the player, like, oh yeah, if Chaos gets all the emeralds, he's going to be unstoppable. Well, obviously not, Tails. Let's get them all. Yeah, and don't, like, whip him out in front of him again because he's just obviously going to steal them. Alright, so I'm trying to remember where to go next. And I believe it's Windy Valley. So, yes, there's a keystone here. So if I pick this up... The windstone, it looks like a key. And we put this little fella... Over in here. Which took me way too long to figure out when I was uh, actually playing the game for the first time, like, ten years ago. Of course, my cat is choosing to play with the noisiest toys on the planet. So, Windy Valley is our second stage as Sonic. And we have to, what a surprise, get the Chaos Emerald, just like pretty much every Sonic game ever. <laughs> I mean, that's one thing that's amazing about the Sonic games. It's like, no matter what the plot of the game is... I'm not even going to ask what that crash was. No matter what the plot of the game is, if you get the Chaos Emeralds, it'll be fine. I mean, I think there's some games, like one or two maybe, where it's not that, but even then you can get the Sol Emeralds or something else. It's like, <laughs> aha, I got it. <laughs> I usually forget that that's there and never get it. Oh no, a tornado in a place called Windy Valley. Who would have expected? This is where everyone learns just how sarcastic I am, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would have figured that from the massive spring, but... Yeah, we did this in the first stage, remember? <laughs> boing, boing, boing. That noise is always really fun to me. I don't know why it just is. And then if we just go in here, boom, we're out of the tornado. And us getting out of it somehow magically makes it disappear. Okay, so screw doing this the normal way. I'm just going to jump over here and get a head start. Because, you know... Screw the rules. Um, I do... I, I have mixed feelings about this stage, because I do kind of like the design, 
but at the same time, it, it is a little bit confusing to be so early in the game, I think. Because when I was first playing this, I was like, whoa, what is happening? Woo! I missed. <laughs> and that's why you shouldn't try to be a smart ass and just jump over stuff. It's still fun to try, though. <laughs> I, I, I'm like... I'm like that kid who wishes I could be a speedrunner, but I would never be a speedrunner. <laughs> also, stuff like that is really upsetting on the eyes, not gonna lie. Oh, look at that, I got a shield thing. I can't get up. Please let me up. Please. Please. I don't have the bouncy. Bouncy yet. I don't even know if you get the bounce bracelet in this game. Is that just SA2? I can't even remember. <clears throat> Oh look, another platform to run down because, you know, that's fun. This bit really just feels like you're going over, like, going back to the beginning of the section because it's like, haven't I already seen this? I feel like they could have made it a little more interesting, not gonna lie, but, you know, it's good for the time. Gotta respect that. <laughs> oh, that was not fun on the camera. Yeah, this uh, made me feel a bit sick as a kid as well because it's just, the camera angles are awful oh do you look at that there's just a chaos emerald chilling out in the open because that's how things work pretty sure Eggman would have already gotten all of them if they were just all laying about like that <clears throat> and look at that we have two emblems so I believe that the next stage is in station square I believe it might be I'm not sure is it Twinkle Park no it's, it feels too early for Twinkle Park where is the second stage uh, third stage even oh Casinoopolis yes it's night time oh wait no is it not oh is it Twinkle Park then Casinoopolis I don't know uh, I'm confused I thought it was Casinoopolis when I saw that it was evening but where am I going I feel like I'm missing something obvious. I'm sure it's in Station Square. But but where is the question? What do you have to say? Oh, right. I'm going to the sewer. I need my upgrade. That's what I need. I do like that you can get the little tips like that. Otherwise, I don't know what I would do. Is it this way? No, it's this way. I can never remember because I swear it's like a different way depending on who you're playing. And oh, look at that. Look at the pretty, pretty glowing light. Oh, awesome. So yeah, now we can do the light speed dash. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so I believe X, yeah. Ready? Go! <laughs> uh, it never gets old. Uh, can I? Thank you. I want to get through the door. Hello, Mr. Man. I'm not gonna steal your egg. I promise. Is it night now? Looks like night now. Looks awfully less orange, so I'm assuming it's night now. Oh, God, the bloody cars! I wish they'd get out of my way. Right, so if we go into the train station, I believe, yeah, then we can go down here. And then, now that we have the light speed dash, we can get into Casinoopolis. So, where is it? Over here. Yeah. And then, boop! And then I press that button and boom, new level. Oh, gosh. Okay, um, yeah, this level is going to take me... A while. This is like the longest level in the game for me. So I am going to leave this uh, part of the recording here and we will continue with Casinoopolis in the next part. Um, yeah, so this is my first video on the channel. Um, I think I am still a little bit awkward with this, but it's something that I do want to improve with. You know, it's a lot of fun for me. So if you have any feedback for me, please do comment it below. Um, and I will see you in the next part. Thank you and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Melody, what does she do? Can I do? Can I? Me, that you